controversial statement. You're is gonna, it? You're gonna get canceled. Is it? Oh, my bad. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a pretty large. It's a side event, but like you know. Okay, here we go. Battlefield. Wait, replace God Strike with uh, doubles with God Strike? Oh, who said that? What? Um, <laughs> skirt, skirt. That's OD. Okay. Uh, uh, Kai Platts here. Battlefield. Hello. Uh, King Ark representing Mega Man, not busting out Young Link this time around. You might have been warming up with um, Young Link, but it is what it is. Uh, right now, we're going to Battlefield. So we got Robot versus Robot going on here. So I, I cannot say I've ever actually seen this matchup. In Smash 4 or Ultimate, so this is kind of a treat. Um, I've seen this matchup in Smash 4. Um, I very much believe those in um, Mega Man's favor. Um, but in this game, I could probably see it being more even. Yeah, I mean uh, they've both been they've both been beefed up since uh, Smash 4, especially Rob. Yeah, and the way people interact with projectiles in this game is definitely like a. I'm sorry, that was a cute conversion. I just want, uh, can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> My man confirmed off of the metal blade. No, confirmed, no tech though? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I, I, that's the you best. Know, can you I, have a soundboard now, Devin? Can I, can I be in control of the soundboard? No. Wow, incredible. Oh my I, God, I, I cannot, no, do not please. let bars in charge of that. Oh my do not, I, God. I refuse to let bars control please, that. I will not enter a whole tournament and, just and cast the whole time. Oh my God. Um, oh, here we go. A second's yeah. two stocks of peace. Yeah, yeah. Good, I mean, good catch by Dill. He's catching King Art's recovery. Um, King Art actually likes to recover that way for the most part. He likes to recover very horizontally. A very smart option for King Ark, you know, gets the trump, just immediately starts up with a leaf shield because he knows uh, Dills wants to jump back onto the stage as fast as possible. As active projectiles waiting for him immediately. Oh, and try to avoid that job, but he could not get away from him. Yeah, it's good pressure right there. Pushed him far enough away with the neutral air so he can easily go for a safe poke with the forward tilt. Yeah, and King Ark just... Getting the back air to get him out of that um, situation. Yeah, well, he's challenging Dill a lot with like just aggressive options. Yeah, because Dill is being very aggressive off the ledge right now. I want to say almost every single attempt from Dill off the ledge has been a forward, forward air or something along those lines. Yeah, but King Ark's been kind of retaliating as well. You recognize that whenever Rob goes for up B out of uh, off stage, he can no longer commit to like an air dodge. So that's why King Ark's been going for like these weird combos. Ooh. That kill? And he up smashed that cross up. So King Ark went for a cross up and Dill was just not having it. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, that covers both sides, honestly. Um, with that being said, King Ark quickly taking that stop. Yeah, throwing the crash bomb on an invincible Rob gives him time to breathe, forcing Dill to have to hold shield so he can't, you know, try to capitalize on his invincibility. Yeah, that leaf shield putting a lot of work for him. So the thing about Leaf Shield is that it, it does have a lot of end lag, but if you're getting hit by it, it doesn't matter. Ooh! I like it. Go for the Rush Coil. A lot of Shark oh, okay, okay. oh my god, the yeah. Shield Pressure? Yeah, and you went for that same cross-up before and you got up smashed for it. But now, since he's not in that percent window, that kill percent window, he could go for it freely. What? <laughs> and something happened. No, <laughs> that was just projectiles all over the place. Oh wow! Another. That was the second kill he got off of Metal Blade. Can we can we can we, can we get that incredible? Can, can we get that? Can we get that? Incredible. Yes. Yes. Off of Metal Blade again. King Ark stepping up his game a little bit. I don't see too many Metal Blade confirms, let alone two in one game. Like I said, he's been going off stage trying to get those Metal Blades off stage against Rob because he knows that there's no conceivable way for him to go for that air dodge to avoid the projectile. Yeah, because um, sometimes it's, it's one of those things where um, you go for the same mix-up on the ground all the time. And, and that's the mix-up. Yeah, um, so he decided to just do it off stage a little bit more. Yeah. Um, do it less on the ground in the middle of the stage. Um, cause he got killed for it that one time. So. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, man. But now we got Dill coming up with these counter picks here. I mean, trying to ban three stages. Honestly, with 10 stages, I don't know. Maybe, maybe three bands is the wave. But I feel like that takes too long. No, I mean, it's just a band of stage, man. What the hell? Well, well, you, what, what if you're like playing against someone that's new that doesn't even know about bands? It's like, I don't even know what to ban. Uh, well, that's a personal problem. You just come prepared for the tournament. I mean, get, that, that's get, get good. That's honestly fair. Let's just do a Tekken style, dog. Let's just hit that random button. Bro, I, yo, that's what I was talking about. 
these these Smash players are privileged. We Honestly, can, just, can yo, you imagine? We could just hit the random button and get it and get it going and see what's really good. That's why I do it friendlies, man. Like, <laughs> let's do it. Yai, did Devin just give me a yikes motion? No, honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, Yannis. Stages are kind of polarizing in this game compared to like the, the likes of Tekken. He honestly gave me a yikes, but um, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, going into Town City though. So the difference between in this stage is that the ceilings are really high. This is the big stage. Big stage for big players. Oh, okay. And he tried to read that air dodge at the back air. Mm -hmm. I respect it. Song just kind of levitating there. Slight second. That, that, that forest match, I think. Yeah, I'm shocked that didn't land. I don't think that Crash Bomb knew what to do there. You saw it just yeah, swap it, like, targets it, 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 like it, five it, times? It just canceled. It, it canceled, was just like, it canceled off a rock. The Crash Bomb got confused. Error 404 happened on the blue screen of death. Like, that was odd. That, it, was, it was just done so. That, <laughs> that was out of control. Uh, another up smash coming out from Go. Really good at catching those jumps from King Art. Yeah, that seems to be a strong option for Dill. You see him uh, falling down with the neutral air to apply some shield pressure to push King Arc back so he can just walk away, try to force out an option from King, but King Arc's Ooh, not yeah, really... And going, yeah, Ooh. I was just about to point out that he was going to go low for that back air. Yeah. At any cost. Because Dill kept recovering low. But yeah, and that, I mean, that Metal Blade put um, doing a lot of mileage. And I mean, uh, and the good thing about it is if you do the Metal Blade and you run away from your opponent right after you hit the shield. Um, since it has a lot of end lag, you're kind of safe. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of leaf shields going out from King Arc too. You know, every single time he goes for he tries to either use it up whenever his opponent's on the ledge or when he his opponent's holding shield in front of him. Yeah. It's really good at just catching and just walking in and applying shield pressure, hoping they push a button. Yeah, but sometimes they flinch, sometimes they don't. Um, okay. Wanted to spike again. A good spacing. Yeah, 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 spacing coming out from that. Oh yeah, you. Oh yeah. And you know that's the first time Dill's gone for that this entire set. The rudder arm, which is a very strong tool in Rob's kit. Oh my god. He avoided the shore. You can by just going for a jump. Yeah. Oh, go for up air. Okay. I think he's gonna go for a forward air. Try to get him across the stage. Okay, just do it. Does it? Hey, speaking of forward airs, that was the. Chop. Yeah. Just jumped in, just chopped him right in the air. Broke his neck in the process. The gyro is still active. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Okay, yeah, spacing that nair. So the thing about that nair, um, it's not pretty much. It's not so much that it's safe, but um, if you punish it with the wrong buttons, especially at a shield, uh, it could seem safe, right? So maybe instead of grabbing at a shield, because that's one of the slowest options that we have now, jab at a shield. Okay. Okay. I mean, Dill kind of gambled a lot on that uh, rotor arm. Oh. Okay. Only 12% off of that, those exchanges. Okay, Dill is trying to go for that re-grab off of the down tilt or dash stack. That's yeah, the mix-up. Yeah, got the down tilt dash stack. Does uh, down tilt trip? Down tilt trip, correct? Does what? Down tilt trip, correct? It trips at certain percents, okay. like, depending on the angle, too. Okay. Forward air. He still has his double jump, I believe. Doesn't need it. Yeah, oh, um, Dill really needs one up there. Yeah, dude, I mean, honestly, Dill just needs one grab. Can easily turn this into a game three situation. There's the grab that we were foretold. Up smash confirmed there is no escape from that. At that higher percent, you were just done -zo. Yeah, um, also, uh, that was that was an awesome option coverage. If he was at a lower lower percent, that would have covered like the no mix up mix up where mm -hmm. you just don't mash and don't do anything. Yeah, well, the thing is, he was at 170, man. Like, there's no yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you get out. There's like no that. way. He was just dead. Yeah, I think he was, he was just done, but. Um, Rightfully so, honestly. If you, if you got if you got characters with grabs that kill, just outright throw grabs that kill 170, might as well just have one that just gives you a guaranteed up smash afterwards, even that if it does burrow. Berry. That, oh my god. The berry effect. I kind of almost forget the berry effects in this game because it was so it was so prominent in the first month of the game's lifespan because we saw King K rule and Inkling all over the place, and now they're just kind of. He was getting burrowed left and forth trying to mash out for deal life. Yeah, you break your controller online, <laughs> finding it's like like Elite Smash was nothing but King K rule, but now like. Breaking Not their controllers and wills in the process. Yeah. So you had to buy a new one. Now you don't see the character anymore. So let's go on to Yoshi's story. Counter pick coming out from King Arc. Wants the triplats. Wants the big open stage. And most importantly, he wants the walls. Those walls are really good for Mega Man. It allows him to throw crash bombs onto it. And they just, like, stick. As well as allows his opponent. Because one thing that Dill's been doing a lot when he's recovery is using his up B 
and kind of hovering underneath the like arc of the stage. But now there's nowhere for him to hide when he goes for up B, leaving himself vulnerable to King Arc's down air. Yeah. Um, it also things to note that this stage does have a wall on the sides. So, I mean, theoretically, they could just hug, they could hug the wall in a situation like that. Yeah, that's why Dill, Dill's not hugging the wall, because he knew that down air was coming. Ooh, okay. He tried to read that read that air dodge yeah. into the forward air. Just a wrong direction. Ooh, okay. Okay. Wow. That, uh, again, uh, forward air killing kind of catches me off guard sometimes because of the last game, but that it does indeed kill. Yeah, I mean, that just looked like suspect guy a little bit. Yeah, no, I think it's just that strong. I think he's, he just died. Okay. He's going to get the right. confirm. Just goes for the up tilt. Very safe option. Into the up air. Nice conversion yep. from Dill. Yep, yeah, yeah. Taking the simple option. No need to go, go for a crazy read. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that in this neighborhood. Okay, back here from the ledge. Oh. Just going to okay. shield the blaster. Yeah, and um, King Ark starting up with the um, Metal Blades again. Okay, gonna get caught by that neutral air. A lot of down tilts into jabs coming out from Dill. Okay, Dill catching his own Metal Blade, and yeah, I'm really liking that King Ark is just going for it right now. Because he's getting a lot out of it, getting a lot of mileage for his aggressiveness. Uh, Dill sitting on his final stock. Okay. Brings him up to the top platform. Wants that arm rotor so bad. Wow, okay. He tried to go for that DI. But so. that probably would have killed him at the edge of stage. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Okay, let's see how he recovers. Okay, yeah. And doesn't recover high again because um, King Art definitely had that cover. Gets dragged off again with the leaf shield. Goes for the flare, the forward air off the flare blade. One oh one percent. Okay, going for the cross up once again. And okay, and good thing Dill did not bite on that one. Gets him with the laser, forces the double jump by going for the gyro throw. Let's see if he can try to capitalize. Okay, great recovery. And Dill opting just to smash that ledge, and he got caught for it. Yeah, he was spamming down smash. That was the second one in a row. But your boy King Ark's gonna take that one. Two to one's gonna move on to the losers bracket. Dill going down with a seventh, plus ninth place finish. That was for a top eight. Still coming out here. Look at this right here. Bam! Another metal blade conversion into a shore. Yukin, Ryu, and Ken might not be that good in this game, but Mega Man is still out here connecting those FGC, the Dragon Punches, man.